What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Sword and we are about to start the finals here after we took on um, Bead last minute like that. We weren't really, cause, you know, of course we're thinking we're gonna face the gym leaders like they said we would. Um, I think, I think I wanna start off with Corviknight. Oops, did not mean to check the summary. I think I'm gonna start off with him just cause I haven't been showing Corviknight any love lately. And he's definitely like a, uh, an OG of the team. The time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are the trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Blades. His opponent is the Raging Wave, the Master of Water Types, Nessa. Okay, maybe I should just start off with Rillaboom. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holberry Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out the sea and beyond the horizon. I mean, you can talk all that smack if you want, girl, but you're not ready. Okay, she got her little dive ball too. I want she probably has a Golio spot. Okay. I wonder which which move she's gonna use. Is she gonna use the move that like you can attack first? Sonny might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Okay, maybe it is good that I start off with Corviknight. Because uh, it was a bad move starting off with the bug water. Barascuda. I think Barascuda was the one that like I checked out for a little bit while he was Aracuda. Um, it's pre-evolution and I didn't really like it, but... I'm hearing nothing but great things about this saying like it's move pool is good, it's strength is good, and it's speed is good. So maybe all I need to do was him a chance to showcase his abilities more before I swapped him out. I'm thinking I'm still gonna send out Toxtricity when it comes to that Milotic. If she has one, that is. I feel like it wouldn't be right if she didn't have a Milotic. Wow, a Sea King. Okay, Gen 1 Pokemon. Okay, and I outspeed it too. I feel like Sea King was just like a, like paying homage to Misty. Because Missy had a Goldeen, I think she evolved her Goldeen into Sea King. But it's kind of funny, her Sea King is a female. Let's go Toxtricity for that Pelipper. I mean, that's kind of helping me out. I'm really wondering what's her last Pokemon now. I can't remember what her team was when I first fought her. But I'm trying to think who she's going to Dynamax. Oh yeah, Dreadnought. Uh, we'll keep him out here. Looks like I'm down to my one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. I can't even remember if I've seen an electric Dynamax move yet.
Let the stadium make it our ocean, Dreadnought. Time to duck Antimax. You get these cool forms. That's what I need to figure out. That's all I want to know. But I guess it makes sense because from those raid battles, there's something called like your Dynamax level or something for your Pokemon. You get Dynamax candy to raise it. So maybe I need to raise the Dynamax level in order to unlock a different form for certain Pokemon. Proud of you. You had no problem handling your our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. As long as you know, girl. And the winner is Blades. He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I'd paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Gallery's got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. Oh, wow. Wait, Pierce beat Kabu? Isn't Kabu the fighting? Oh, no, Kabu's not. Kabu's fire. So, Bea beat Gordy, and of course Milo lost to Raihan. So it looks like we're about to go up against uh, uh, Pierce. And he has the dark type Pokemon. And that means I'm gonna have Grimmsnarl out there. Unless I wanna just start off with Rillaboom. Uh, start off with Rillaboom and then Brick Brick until it's time, but let me go over to my bag and check out, uh, where's my other items? I got, like, that stuff from Dynamaxing. Yeah, the Dynamax candy. Oh, this thing says it just chain increases, like, the HP. I mean, still pretty good to use, I guess. Yeah, well... Now we'll just start the next challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, we've already at we're already at the second match of the finals of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left for the last match. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's Champion Cup. As the former gym challenger Bead stormed the stage, but Blades has having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. On the other side, we have the Gavarati Prodigy. Let's hear it for gym leader Bea, everybody. I like how you can hear the footsteps, though. Like, you can tell she's barefoot. <laughs> I promise you, my attacks will shake your very soul this time. May the best trainer win. Man, I looked at the matchup all wrong. I thought we were going to go up against Piers, but it turns out we're going up against Bea. <laughs> And sent out Halucha. You might have had one win on me, but this is where I'll show you what I really can do when I'm serious. I don't know, I kind of don't want to risk that. <laughs> so, let's just. Swap into Grimmsnarl. I think after this I'll swap back into Corviknight. I think this one could be like either flying or fighting. But wow, that did a lot. Oh, snap. I was expecting high jump kick to miss, no lie. If it does it again, it might take out. 
Grimmsnarl. Oh, good. She used the full restore. That worked out for me. I get to heal up some more. Wow, you really still didn't miss. I think she still has the Machamp too. Now we're gonna keep Grimmsnarl out here. I guess she wants to showcase Phalanx. I don't think Phalanx even evolves too. But as far as I know, I need health. Oh, I thought that was gonna take it out. <laughs> Oh, you're going to lower my speed. Ooh, you're smart. You're smart. I mean, you can always just faint, though. I feel like it's just one Pokemon because it looks like there's multiple Pokemon connected to it that just listen to it. Oh, I think Surfetch has high crit rating. Maybe we can. No, we just use. They just use Rock Tomb. I don't know why I thought I could outspeed it. <laughs> Just use training kiss again because then after it's gonna be champ's turn I think okay good we outspeed <laughs> the grapple lock I can't remember if octo launch like lowers our stat yep type of setup are you trying to get here? Oh now my guy wants to get a critical hit? You could have did that last time. Yeah, I'm actually going to switch out into Corviknight, and I'm a Dynamax Corviknight. Because then I can just use the flying um, Gigantamax move. It's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. And Hermachamp looks beast as heck when Dynamax. Good to know I outspeed it. Oh, fine then. Let's just destroy everything. It's time to Gigantamax. Gigantamax Machamp looks beast. I oh, don't know, I kind of want one now. Oh, he held on too. Wait, you know, fire move?
Maybe that was supposed to be like a fire punch for him. I was actually surprised he held on like that. But okay, I think now my Pokemon's level kinda doesn't seem too weird. Your strength nearly made me want to turn and run in my bare feet. Bea has been defeated. Chandra Blades has shown his skill. As long as you guys know. Thank you for a wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and fresh. In a way, I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. I hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time, so stay in those seats, folks. Okay, yeah, I expected to go against Raihan. Wow. Whoa-ho. Contender Raihan gloriously defeated Contender Piers. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Blades. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. You look so sloppy out th that people are going to think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong, but I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Blades. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chinwag just before the final match. Raihan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. I like how they say Chinwag. I don't know if we're going to be doing a double battle or not, but if we are doing a double battle and it's going to be back to having um, having to go against ground, yeah, the ground and dragon for some reason, I'm going to just have my Lodic start off first and have Corviknight out here as well, just so we're not affected by the ground move, but at the same time, I do want to I have Grimmsnarl out there so he can do his thing, so I guess we'll just leave it like that. I don't know, I'm talking way too much, probably overthinking it a lot. Either way, my Lotus is going to be out there for the double battle. And maybe I should have had Rillaboom out there too, just so if I use Surf. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star challenger Blades, or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival? The Tamer of Dragons, Raihan. You're really something else, kid. You made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival and he chose you, so I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I am to beat him. I've reworked my whole team and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. Crap. <laughs> you might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Raihan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Yeah, I definitely thought that's who we're going up against, the, the same Raihan. Alright, let's see who he starts off with. Torkoal? This is weird. For the dragon type user, they don't have him using a full dragon team. But I guess it's kind of like Lance, how Lance didn't use full dragon. Lance used Pokemon that looked like dragons. Like, um... Aerodactyl, that's drought. It gets the sunlight burner real harsh. Oh man, so that means my water move's not gonna be as effective. Okay. My Lodic will just fall asleep next turn, I guess. Well, after this turn. But maybe that was when this whole setup for Torquoal was to change up the weather and then make one of my Pokemon fall asleep so he could try to defeat everybody else. Ah, oh, you got Gudra. Uh...
I don't know who I want to. <laughs> Man, I wasn't expecting. Dang. Gudra also knows poison type moves. I don't know. Colossal? Just because we are out here with like the sunny day, so we can get, I guess, a little bit of extra. Uh, extra damage in. So I could just use Tar Shot, then Flame Charge. Dang. I set myself up. <laughs> Here comes the rain. Feel this cold dampness soak into your body. I have a feeling you're going to use a water move now. So... I'll just wake up my Lodic now. I think Colossal is probably just going to take a hit and... Have to go bye bye for me. Yeah, you know Surf. Yeah, that's a times four weakness. Um. Honestly, I don't know who to send out. I wasn't expecting the pressure to be like this. <laughs> I feel like this is not going to do that much, though. Oh, wow. No, did a good amount. Oh, man, you know Thunder, too. This is really his special attacker. Rain Dance, Surf, Thunder. And then it probably does know like a Dragon Pulse or something. Man. Now I'll just send out my Lodic there to use Icy Wind. But it knows Thunder, so I don't know if it'll outspeed my Milotic or not. And of course, of course he's a full restore. And of course it doesn't do that much. <laughs> Hoping for a freeze. <laughs> Something. Freeze this Pokemon. <laughs> I think, is our special attack good enough? But I think Thunder is also boosted in the rain. So he could just waste another turn and do rain dance. That's one thing I wasn't really prepared for was his dragon Pokemon. I mean... I kind of was, but at the same time, I kind of wasn't just because he has this Gudra. And maybe I'm just overthinking Gudra, and Gudra's not a Dragon Poison type Pokemon, but maybe it also is. I don't know, I probably could have just had Grimmsnarl out there and punched the crap out of him. Uh, yeah, we're gonna switch into Grimmsnarl. because then we can play rough. Let the winds blow string forward, Sandstorm. Yeah, I was only going to let him be able to set up one move. Tornator, Fire Dragon. I 
I don't know, I think my Lotus is my best bet. How did I know you were gonna miss? How did I know you were going to miss? Now I need you to hit this next move. That was my chance to just like one hit KO. you tried to do there buddy yeah if you do that I'll just heal up over here <laughs> I should just like be so petty and just start reviving my other Pokemon. It seems like he only plans on using Shell Trap. <laughs> but he probably has like more full restores, huh? I don't know, I think I'll just let the other two Pokemon be fainted just so we don't waste more time. So, this is the decision. Do I Dynamax Rillaboom? I think I'll Dynamax Rillaboom because I don't think there's really much that his Duraludon can do. Or Duraludon. Being that he's Dragon Steel, I think he focuses more so on like Ground Steel and Dragon Moves. You do realize I'm the Great Rion, right? So I'll be the one to beat Leon. I don't know guys, I think I'm gonna go for a Max Quake. Bring the storm, my partner will send everyone in the stake and flying. Oh, don't do that bro. That's casualties, civilian casualties. look like a big old building too. Well at least I know he's faster than me. Let's do it. The Dragon Shore. Time for my ultimate attack. G Max. Dang it. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty pretty nice. How did I outspeed him? I'm actually surprised by that. I mean, okay, that's fine. You still gonna get gone, bro? all she wrote folks
Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. Yeah, I know he's salty. Chandra Blaze seizes victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagine. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number six, Challenger Blaze, has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who has endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. Alright, the big moment's finally here, huh? I just came here to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides, after all. It's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? And Talion looks like he has all the tea to share. <laughs> right, you reckon I should cheer for Blades too, don't you? Couldn't agree more after all. We did start this thing out together, way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear me? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. <laughs> Dang, guys. With that said, I'm in this episode off here, guys. Next episode, we're going to take on the champion, uh, Leon. And hopefully it's not too difficult of a battle like that Raihan. But I wasn't expecting Raihan's team to be like that. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.